Hello everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do another fragrance review of the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia fragrance. Um, before I get into this video, I do a ton of perfume related videos on my channel so definitely hit the playlist up here or in the description box down below and you'll see all of my fragrance related videos created in one playlist. Um, but today the focus is on good old Joe Malone. So like I said, this is the English Pear and Freesia. If you've been into a Joe Malone boutique, store, counter, anything, they have a ton of fragrances to the point where it's borderline overwhelming because they have, um, it's just so much. I remember purchasing this from the airport two years ago. So you can see it's lasted me um, two years ago. And I was just overwhelmed with the amount of fragrances that I had that they had, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I ended up picking up the English Pear and Freesia as well as Poppy and Barley, which I'm going actually going to do um, a review after this video. Um, but this will launch in 2010 and I have the 30 ml bottle um, and this retails for 52 pounds um, or 74 US dollars um, and the 100 ml retails for 102 pounds and um, 144 US dollars. So this is considered the essence of autumn. It says the sensuous freshness of just ripe pears is wrapped in a bouquet of white freesias and mellowed by amber, patchouli and woods. So the top notes are pear and lemon, the middle notes are freesia and rose, and the base notes are musk, patchouli, rhubarb and amber. The scent type is a sheepra fruity fragrance. So if that's down your alley, you're most likely going to like this fragrance. The main accords according to Fragrantica are floral, I'm only going to mention the top five because we could be here forever, um, but it's floral, fruity, sweet, rose and aquatic. Um, so I'm going to, I, mean, I know how this smells, I've had it for like two years now or just under two years so I'm pretty familiar with the fragrance. Do I have anything on here? No, okay. So t for me this is a very like well-balanced fresh fragrance um the pear and lemon are just beautifully done and to me like the initial spray is i can smell like elements of like bitter or like pepper i can't that sounds like it's really negative but i love that because when you think of like melon and pears and vanilla it's just very very sweet but i feel like like the bitterness from like maybe the pears um kind of balances that and then as it dries down you start to smell um the freesia and like the rhubarb notes coming through when i think of rhubarb i think of those rhubarb and custard sweets <laughs> i could be the only one um but they're those like pink and yellow like hard boiled sweets i'll leave it here in the somewhere in the video um, but you can definitely smell like the freesia coming through once it like dries down and it has this like essence of like sweet but it's also quite floral as well and fresh and clean. It just reminds me of like an early autumn or fall um, morning with just clear skies, clean air, just a fresh day. Going back to the initial spray, I feel like it's quite zesty and like citrusy and like I said, a bit bitter. And, and when I say bitter, I honestly don't mean that in any way in terms of being it negative. I actually feel like that's a positive thing. But then I feel like it mellows down and then you just feel like the sweetness note, the sweet notes coming through, which I absolutely love. This is just a very upbeat, fresh, the perfect day scent. Like I wouldn't, I mean, you can wear it at night, but personally, when I smell this scent, I just smell daytime, all day, every day, daytime. You know, you're at a picnic you're sipping on peach tea or english tea like it's just it's just very upbeat and uplifting i feel fresh i feel clean when i'm wearing this in terms of longevity i would definitely say it's on the moderate side and when i say moderate i feel like to the point where it's not the most long wearing fragrance but it's i would definitely say moderate and when, and in terms of hours personally for me i would say three to four hours max um sometimes even two hours like it's weird because sometimes i spray this fragrance and it's like i can smell it for longer 
on my skin and on my clothes and then some days I wear it and I can barely smell it at all it's one of those really weird fragrances I don't know if it's like depending on like the weather type or like I don't know what it is but I just feel like every time I wear this the longevity um, differs but I definitely say it's on the moderate side and I, I don't want to speak for all Jo Malone fragrances but because I've only tried two but from what I've heard the consensus is that their fragrances don't last the longest I do love about their fragrances is that they're all unisex I believe I need to double check that but I'm pretty sure they're all unisex so if you're a guy if you're a female whatever you are anyone can rock this fragrance but overall i would say this is a really pretty fragrance it's a fresh sweet floral to me the pears are really strong the pears and the melons are super strong and super overpowering like that those are the main notes that i can smell and then as time goes on i start to smell like the freesia and the rhubarb um but if you like sheepra fruity um almost fresh fragrances i think you definitely like this it's um one of those fragrances that i feel like won't offend people because it's it's very safe like it's not super strong it's not super offensive it's quite fresh and clean and upbeat and like i said it reminds you of like you know going on a picnic i don't do picnics but <laughs> if i were like you're on a picnic you're drinking peach tea like it just a very light fragrance so i definitely recommend if you like those type of fragrances but if you're looking for something that's super long wearing and that will take you from day to night this is definitely not the fragrance um but i'm going to end this video here um let me know your thoughts if you tried this fragrance do you love it do you hate it what are your thoughts i do like this fragrance i can definitely see myself repurchasing um like i said when i go into joe malone it can be a bit overwhelming because there's a ton of fragrances um this is definitely something that i would um repurchase like i said i've had this for two years and um I've got more than half so and I use this quite generously too so it's actually lasted me a long time so definitely grab yourself a 30 ml bottle or a sample and try out this fragrance and see how you like it but I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching um all the notes and everything like that will be in the description box down below but definitely tell me your comments on this fragrance and how you like it and um, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video